the reliability of Wikipedia concerns the validity, verifiability, and veracity of Wikipedia and its user-generated editing model, particularly its English language edition. It is written and edited by volunteer editors who generate online content with the editorial oversight of other volunteer editors via community-generated policies and guidelines. Wikipedia carries the general disclaimer that it can be edited by anyone at any time and maintains an inclusion threshold of verifiability, not truth. This editing model is highly concentrated, as 77% of all articles are written by 1% of its editors, a majority of whom have chosen to remain anonymous. The reliability of the project has been tested statistically through comparative review, analysis of the historical patterns and strengths and weaknesses inherent in its editing process. The online encyclopedia has been criticized for its factual reliability, principally regarding its content, presentation, and editorial processes. Studies and surveys attempting to gauge the reliability of Wikipedia have mixed results, with findings varied and inconsistent. Wikipedia's reliability was frequently criticized in the 2000s but has improved over time, it has been generally praised in the late 2010s and early 2020s. Select assessments of its reliability have examined how quickly vandalism content perceived by editors to constitute false or misleading information is removed. Two years after the project was started, in 2003, an IBM study found that vandalism is usually repaired extremely quickly so quickly that most users will never see its effects. The inclusion of false or fabricated content has, at times, lasted for years on Wikipedia due to its volunteer editorship. Its editing model facilitates multiple systemic biases, namely, selection bias, inclusion bias, participation bias, and groupthink bias. The majority of the encyclopedia is written by male editors, leading to a gender bias in coverage and the makeup of the editing community has prompted concerns about racial bias, spin bias, corporate bias, and national bias, among others. An ideological bias on Wikipedia has also been identified on both conscious and subconscious levels. A series of studies from Harvard Business School in 2012 and 2014 found Wikipedia significantly more biased than Encyclopedia Britannica but attributed the finding more to the length of the online encyclopedia as opposed to slanted editing. The prevalence of non-neutral or conflict of interest editing and the use of Wikipedia for revenge editing has attracted publicity for inserting false, biased, or defamatory content into articles especially biographies of living people. Articles on less technical subjects, such as the social sciences, humanities, and culture, have been known to deal with misinformation cycles, cognitive biases, coverage discrepancies, and editor disputes. The online encyclopedia does not consider itself to be reliable as a source and discourages readers from using it in academic or research settings. Researchers, teachers, journalists, and public officials do not regard Wikipedia as a reliable source. It is seen as a valuable starting point for researchers when they pass over content to examine the listed references, citations, and sources. Academics suggest reviewing reliable sources when assessing the quality of articles. Its coverage of medical and scientific articles such as pathology, toxicology, oncology, pharmaceuticals, and psychiatry were compared to professional and peer reviewed sources in a 2005 Nature study. A year later, Encyclopedia Britannica disputed the Nature study, whose authors, in turn, replied with a further rebuttal. Concerns regarding readability and the overuse of technical language were raised in studies published by the American Society of Clinical Oncology, Psychological Medicine, and European Journal of Gastroenterology and Hepatology. Wikipedia's popularity, mass readership, and free accessibility has led the encyclopedia to command a substantial second-hand cognitive authority across the world. History 17th Century Maryland's First Colonial Settlement Persecution of Catholics Border Disputes 
the Royal Charter granted Maryland the land north of the Potomac River up to the 40th parallel. A problem arose when Charles II granted a charter for Pennsylvania. The grant defined Pennsylvania's southern border as identical to Maryland's northern border, the 40th parallel. But the grant indicated that Charles II and William Penn assumed the 40th parallel would pass close to New Castle, Delaware when it falls north of Philadelphia, the site of which Penn had already selected for his colony's capital city. Negotiations ensued after the problem was discovered in 1681. A compromise proposed by Charles II in 1682 was undermined by Penn's receiving the additional grant of what is now Delaware. Penn successfully argued that the Maryland Charter entitled Lord Baltimore only to unsettled lands, and Dutch settlement in Delaware predated his charter. The dispute remained unresolved for nearly a century, carried on by the descendants of William Penn and Lord Baltimore the Calvert family, which controlled Maryland and the Penn family, which controlled Pennsylvania. The border dispute with Pennsylvania led to Kresap's War in the 1730s. Hostilities erupted in 1730 and escalated through the first half of the decade, culminating in the deployment of military forces by Maryland in 1736 and by Pennsylvania in 1737. The armed phase of the conflict ended in May 1738 with the intervention of King George II, who compelled the negotiation of a ceasefire. A provisional agreement had been established in 1732. Negotiations continued until a final agreement was signed in 1760. The agreement defined the border between Maryland and Pennsylvania as the line of latitude now known as the Mason Dixon Line. Maryland's border with Delaware was based on a transpeninsular line and the 12-mile circle around New Castle. 18th century Most of the English colonists arrived in Maryland as indentured servants, and had to serve a several years' term as laborers to pay for their passage. In the early years, the line between indentured servants and African slaves or laborers was fluid, and white and black laborers commonly lived and worked together and formed unions. Mixed-race children born to white mothers were considered free by the principle of partus sequitur venturum, by which children took the social status of their mothers, a principle of slave law that was adopted throughout the colonies, following Virginia in 1662. During the colonial era, families of free people of color were formed most often by unions of white women and African men. Many of the free black families migrated to Delaware, where land was cheaper. As the flow of indentured laborers to the colony decreased with improving economic conditions in England, planters in Maryland imported thousands more slaves and racial caste lines hardened. The economy's growth and prosperity were based on slave labor, devoted first to the production of tobacco as the commodity crop. Maryland was one of the thirteen colonies that revolted against British rule in the American Revolution. Near the end of the American Revolutionary War, on February 2, 1781, Maryland became the last and thirteenth state to approve the ratification of the Articles of Confederation and Perpetual Union first proposed in 1776 and adopted by the Second Continental Congress in 1778, which brought into being the United States as a united, sovereign and national state. It also became the seventh state admitted to the Union after ratifying the new federal constitution in 1788. In December 1790, Maryland donated land selected by first President George Washington to the federal government for the creation of the new national capital of Washington, D.C. The land was provided along the north shore of the Potomac River from Montgomery and Prince George's counties, as well as from Fairfax County and Alexandria on the south shore of the Potomac in Virginia, however. The land donated by the Commonwealth of Virginia was later returned to that state by the District of Columbia retrocession in 1846. 19th century Influenced by a changing economy, revolutionary ideals and preaching by ministers, 
numerous planters in Maryland freed their slaves in the 20 years after the Revolutionary War. Across the Upper South the free black population increased from less than 1% before the war to 14% by 1810. Abolitionists Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass were born slaves during this time in Dorchester County and Talbot County, respectively. During the War of 1812, the British military attempted to capture Baltimore, which was protected by Fort McHenry. During this bombardment, the song Star Spangled Banner was written by Francis Scott Key, it was later adopted as the national anthem. The National Road was authorized in 1817 and ran from Baltimore to St. Louis the first federal highway. The Baltimore and Ohio Railroad was the first chartered railroad in the United States. It opened its first section of track for regular operation in 1830 between Baltimore and Ellicott City, and in 1852 it became the first rail line to reach the Ohio River from the eastern seaboard. Civil War After the War 20th and 21st Centuries Early 20th Century 1950-Present Geography Maryland has an area of 12,406.68 square miles and is comparable in overall area with Belgium. It is the 42nd largest and 9th smallest state and is closest in size to the state of Hawaii the next smallest state. The next largest state, its neighbor West Virginia, is almost twice the size of Maryland. Description Maryland possesses a variety of topography within its borders, contributing to its nickname America in miniature. It ranges from sandy dunes dotted with seagrass in the east, to low marshlands teeming with wildlife and large bald cypress near the Chesapeake Bay to gently rolling hills of oak forests in the Piedmont region, and pine groves in the Maryland mountains to the west. Maryland is bounded on its north by Pennsylvania, on its north and east by Delaware, on its east by the Atlantic Ocean, and on its south and west, across the Potomac River, by West Virginia and Virginia. The mid-portion of this latter border is interrupted by the District of Columbia which sits on land that was originally part of Montgomery and Prince George's counties and including the town of Georgetown, Maryland. This land was ceded to the United States federal government in 1790 to form the District of Columbia. The Chesapeake Bay nearly bisects the state and the counties east of the bay are known collectively as the Eastern Shore. Most of the state's waterways are part of the Chesapeake Bay watershed with the exceptions of a tiny portion of extreme western Garrett County, the eastern half of Worcester County, and a small portion of the state's northeast corner. So prominent is the Chesapeake in Maryland's geography and economic life that there has been periodic agitation to change the state's official nickname to the Bay State, a nickname that has been used by Massachusetts for decades. The highest point in Maryland with an elevation of 3,360 feet, is Hoy Crest on Backbone Mountain, in the southwest corner of Garrett County, near the border with West Virginia, and near the headwaters of the north branch of the Potomac River. Close to the small town of Hancock, in western Maryland, about two-thirds of the way across the state, less than two miles separates its borders, the Mason-Dixon Line to the north and the northwards arching Potomac River to the south. Portions of Maryland are included in various official and unofficial geographic regions. For example, the Delmarva Peninsula is composed of the eastern shore counties of Maryland, the entire state of Delaware, and the two counties that make up the eastern shore of Virginia, whereas the westernmost counties of Maryland are considered part of Appalachia. Much of the Baltimore-Washington corridor lies just south of the Piedmont in the coastal plain, though it straddles the border between the two regions. Geology Earthquakes in Maryland are infrequent and small due to the state's distance from seismic-slash-earthquake zones. The M5.8 Virginia earthquake in 2011 was felt moderately throughout Maryland. 
Buildings in the state are not well designed for earthquakes and can suffer damage easily. Maryland has no natural lakes, mostly due to the lack of glacial history in the area. All lakes in the state today were constructed, mostly via dams. Buckles Bog is believed by geologists to have been a remnant of a former natural lake. Maryland has shale formations containing natural gas, where fracking is theoretically possible. Flora As is typical of states on the East Coast, Maryland's plant life is abundant and healthy. A modest volume of annual precipitation helps to support many types of plants, including seagrass and various reeds at the smaller end of the spectrum to the gigantic white oak, a huge example of white oak, the state tree, which can grow over 70 feet tall. Middle Atlantic Coastal Forests, typical of the southeastern Atlantic Coastal Plain, grow around Chesapeake Bay and on the Delmarva Peninsula. Moving west a mixture of northeastern coastal forests and southeastern mixed forests cover the central part of the state. The Appalachian Mountains of western Maryland are home to Appalachian Blue Ridge forests. These give way to Appalachian mixed mesophytic forests near the West Virginia border. Many foreign species are cultivated in the state, some as ornamentals, others as novelty species. Included among these are the crepe myrtle, Italian cypress, southern magnolia, live oak in the warmer parts of the state, and even hardy palm trees in the warmer central and eastern parts of the state. USDA plant hardiness zones in the state range from zones 5 and 6 in the extreme western part of the state to zone 7 in the central part, and zone 8 around the southern part of the coast, the Bay Area, and parts of metropolitan Baltimore. Invasive plant species such as kudzu, tree of heaven, multi-flower rose, and Japanese stilt grass, stifle growth of endemic plant life. Maryland's state flower, the black-eyed Susan, grows in abundance in wild flower groups throughout the state. Fauna The state harbors a considerable number of white-tailed deer, especially in the woody and mountainous west of the state, and overpopulation can become a problem. Mammals can be found ranging from the mountains in the west to the central areas and include black bears, bobcats, foxes, coyotes, raccoons, and otters. There is a population of rare wild horses found on Assateague Island. They are believed to be descended from horses who escaped from Spanish galleon shipwrecks. Every year during the last week of July, they are captured and swim across a shallow bay for sale at Chincoteague, Virginia a conservation technique which ensures the tiny island is not overrun by the horses. The ponies and their sale were popularized by the children's book, Misty of Chincoteague. The purebred Chesapeake Bay Retriever dog was bred specifically for water sports, hunting, and search and rescue in the Chesapeake area. In 1878, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever was the first individual retriever breed recognized by the American Kennel Club, and was later adopted by the University of Maryland, Baltimore County as their mascot. Maryland's reptile and amphibian population includes the diamondback terrapin turtle, which was adopted as the mascot of University of Maryland, College Park, as well as the threatened eastern box turtle. The state is part of the territory of the Baltimore Oriole, which is the official state bird and mascot of the MLB team the Baltimore Orioles. Aside from the Oriole, 435 other species of birds have been reported from Maryland. The state insect is the Baltimore checkerspot butterfly, although it is not as common in Maryland as it is in the southern edge of its range. Environment Maryland joined with neighboring states during the end of the 20th century to improve the health of the Chesapeake Bay. The bay's aquatic life and seafood industry have been threatened by development and by fertilizer and livestock waste entering the bay. In 2007, Forbes.com rated Maryland as the fifth greenest state in the country, behind three of the Pacific states and Vermont. Maryland ranks 40th in total energy consumption nationwide and it managed less toxic waste per capita than all but six states in 2005. 
In April 2007, Maryland joined the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative A regional initiative, formed by all the northeastern states, Washington, D.C., and three Canadian provinces, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In March 2017, Maryland became the first state with proven gas reserves to ban fracking by passing a law against it. Vermont has such a law, but no shale gas, and New York has such a ban, though it was made by executive order. Climate Maryland has a wide array of climates, due to local variances in elevation, proximity to water, and protection from colder weather due to downslope winds. The eastern half of Maryland which includes the cities of Ocean City, Salisbury, Annapolis, and the southern and eastern suburbs of Washington, D.C., and Baltimore lies on the Atlantic coastal plain, with flat topography and sandy or muddy soil. This region has a humid subtropical climate, with hot, humid summers and a cool to cold winter, it falls under USDA Hardiness Zone 8A. The Piedmont region, which includes northern and western Greater Baltimore, Westminster, Gaithersburg, Frederick, and Hagerstown, has average seasonal snowfall totals generally exceeding 20 inches, and, as part of USDA Hardiness Zones 7B and 7A, temperatures below 10 degrees Fahrenheit are less rare. From the Cumberland Valley on westward, the climate begins to transition to a humid continental climate. In western Maryland, the higher elevations of Allegheny and Garrett counties including the cities of Cumberland, Frostbuck and Oakland display more characteristics of the humid continental zone, due in part to elevation. They fall under USDA hardiness zone 6B and below. Precipitation in the state is characteristic of the East Coast. Annual rainfall ranges from 35 to 45 inches with more in higher elevations. Nearly every part of Maryland receives 3.54.5 inches per month of rain. Average annual snowfall varies from 9 inches in the coastal areas to over 100 inches in the western mountains of the state. Because of its location near the Atlantic coast, Maryland is somewhat vulnerable to tropical cyclones although the Delmarva Peninsula and the Outer Banks of North Carolina provide a large buffer, such that strikes from major hurricanes occur infrequently. More often, Maryland gets the remnants of a tropical system that has already come ashore and released most of its energy. Maryland averages around 30-40 days of thunderstorms a year, and averages around six tornado strikes annually. Demographics in the 2020 United States Census, the United States Census Bureau found that population of Maryland was 6,185,278 people, a 7.1% increase from the 2010 United States Census. The United States Census Bureau estimated that the population of Maryland was 6,045,680 on July 1, 2019 a 4.71% increase from the 2010 United States Census and an increase of 2,962, from the prior year. This includes a natural increase since the last census of 269,166 and an increase due to net migration of 116,713 people into the state. Immigration from outside the United States resulted in a net increase of 129,730 people, and migration within the country produced a net loss of 13,017 people. The center of population of Maryland is located on the county line between Anne Arundel County and Howard County, in the unincorporated community of Jessup. Maryland's history as a border state has led it to exhibit characteristics of both the northern and the southern regions of the United States. Generally, rural western Maryland between the West Virginian Panhandle and Pennsylvania has an Appalachian culture, the southern and eastern shore regions of Maryland embody a southern culture. While densely populated central Maryland radiating outward from Baltimore and Washington, D.C. has more in common with that of the Northeast. The U.S. Census Bureau designates Maryland as one of the South Atlantic states, 
but it is commonly associated with the Mid-Atlantic states and Northeastern United States by other federal agencies, the media, and some residents. Birth Data As of 2011, 58.0% of Maryland's population younger than age 1 were minority background. Note, births in the table do not add up because Hispanics are counted both by their ethnicity and by their race, giving a higher overall number. Since 2016, data for births of white Hispanic origin are not collected, but included in one Hispanic group, persons of Hispanic origin may be of any race. Language Spanish is the second most spoken language in Maryland, after English. The third and fourth most spoken languages are French and Chinese. Other commonly spoken languages include various African languages, Korean, German, Tagalog, Russian, Vietnamese, Italian, various Asian languages, Persian, Hindi, and other Indic languages, Greek, and Arabic. Cities and metro areas Most of the population of Maryland lives in the central region of the state, in the Baltimore metropolitan area and Washington metropolitan area, both of which are part of the Baltimore-Washington metropolitan area. The majority of Maryland's population is concentrated in the cities and suburbs surrounding Washington, D.C., as well as in and around Maryland's most populous city, Baltimore. Historically. These and many other Maryland cities developed along the fall line, the line along which rivers, brooks, and streams are interrupted by rapids and waterfalls. Maryland's capital city, Annapolis, is one exception to this pattern since it lies along the banks of the Severn River, close to where it empties into the Chesapeake Bay. The eastern shore is less populous and more rural, as are the counties of western Maryland. The two westernmost counties of Maryland, Allegheny and Garrett, are mountainous and sparsely populated, resembling West Virginia and Appalachia more than they do the rest of the state. Both eastern and western Maryland are, however, dotted with cities of regional importance, such as Ocean City, Princess Anne, and Salisbury on the eastern shore and Cumberland, Frostbug, and Hancock in western Maryland. Southern Maryland is still somewhat rural, but suburbanization from Washington, D.C., has encroached significantly since the 1960s. Important local population centers include Lexington Park, Prince Frederick, California, and Waldorf. Ancestry In 1970, the U.S. Census Bureau reported Maryland's population as 17.8% African American and 80.4% non-Hispanic white. African Americans form a sizable portion of the state's population, 31.1% as of 2020. Most are descendants of people transported to the area as slaves from West Africa, and many are of mixed race, including European and Native American ancestry. Concentrations of African Americans live in Baltimore City, Prince George's County, a suburb of Washington, D.C., where many work, Charles County, western parts of Baltimore County, and the southern eastern shore. New residents of African descent include 20th century and later immigrants from Nigeria, particularly of the Igbo and Yoruba tribes. Maryland also hosts populations from other African and Caribbean nations. Many immigrants from the Horn of Africa have settled in Maryland, with large communities existing in the suburbs of Washington, D.C., and the city of Baltimore. The greater Washington area has the largest population of Ethiopians outside of Africa. The Ethiopian community of Greater D.C. was historically based in Washington, C.S. Adams Morgan and Shaw neighborhoods, but as the community has grown, many Ethiopians have settled in Silver Spring. The Washington, D.C., metropolitan area is also home to large Eritrean and Somali communities. The top reported ancestries by Maryland residents are German, Irish, English, American, Italian, and Polish. Irish American populations can be found throughout the Baltimore area and the northern and eastern suburbs of Washington, D.C., in Maryland, 
as well as Western Maryland, where Irish immigrant laborers helped to build the BNO Railroad. Smaller but much older Irish populations can be found in Southern Maryland, with some roots dating as far back as the early Maryland colony. This population, however, still remains culturally very active and yearly festivals are held. A large percentage of the population of the Eastern Shore and Southern Maryland are descendants of British American ancestry. The Eastern Shore was settled by Protestants, chiefly Methodist, and the Southern counties were initially settled by English Catholics. Western and Northern Maryland have large German American populations. More recent European immigrants of the late 19th and early 20th century settled first in Baltimore, attracted to its industrial jobs. Many of their ethnic Italian, Polish, Czech, Lithuanian, and Greek descendants still live in the area. Large ethnic minorities include Eastern Europeans such as Croatians, Belarusians, Russians and Ukrainians. The shares of European immigrants born in Eastern Europe increased significantly between 1990 and 2010. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Yugoslavia, and Czechoslovakia, many immigrants from Eastern Europe came to the United States 12% of whom currently reside in Maryland. Hispanic immigrants of the later 20th century have settled in Aspen Hill, Hyattsville-Langley Park, Glenmont-Wheaton, Bladensburg, Riverdale Park, Gaithersburg, as well as Highland Town and Greek Town in East Baltimore. Salvadorans are the largest Hispanic group in Maryland. Other Hispanic groups with significant populations in the state include Mexicans and Puerto Ricans and Hondurans. Though the Salvadoran population is more concentrated in the area around Washington, D.C., and the Puerto Rican population is more concentrated in the Baltimore area, all other major Hispanic groups in the state are evenly dispersed between these two areas. Maryland has one of the most diverse Hispanic populations in the country, with significant populations from various Caribbean and Central American nations. Asian Americans are concentrated in the suburban counties surrounding Washington, D.C., and in Howard County, with Korean American and Taiwanese American communities in Rockville, Gaithersburg, and Germantown, and a Filipino American community in Fort Washington. Numerous Indian Americans live across the state, especially in Central Maryland. Attracting educated Asians and Africans to the professional jobs in the region, Maryland has the fifth largest proportions of racial minorities in the country. In 2006, 645,744 were counted as foreign born, which represents mainly people from Latin America and Asia. About 4% are undocumented immigrants. Maryland also has a large Korean American population. In fact, 1.7% are Korean, while as a whole, 6.7% are Asian. According to the Williams Institute's analysis of the 2010 U.S. Census, 12,538 same sex couples are living in Maryland, representing 5.8 same sex couples per 1,000 households. In 2019, non Hispanic white Americans were 49.8% of Maryland's population which made Maryland a majority-minority state. 50.2% of Maryland's population is non-white, or is Hispanic or Latino, the highest percentage of any state on the East Coast, and the highest percentage after the majority-minority states of Hawaii, New Mexico, Texas, California, and Nevada. By 2031, minorities are projected to become the majority of voting eligible residents of Maryland. Religion Maryland has been historically prominent to American Catholic tradition because the English colony of Maryland was intended by George Calvert as a haven for English Catholics. Baltimore was the seat of the first Catholic bishop in the U.S., and Emmitsburg was the home and burial place of the first American-born citizen to be canonized, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. Georgetown University, the first Catholic university, was founded in 1789 in what was then part of Maryland. 
the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary in Baltimore was the first Roman Catholic cathedral built in the United States, and the Archbishop of Baltimore is, albeit without formal primacy, the United States quasi-primate, and often a cardinal. Among the immigrants of the 19th and 20th centuries from Eastern and Southern Europe were many Catholics. Despite its historic relevance to the Catholic Church in the United States, the percentage of Catholics in the state of Maryland is below the national average of 20%. Demographically, both Protestants and those identifying with no religion are more numerous than Catholics. According to the Pew Research Center in 2014, 69% of Maryland's population identifies themselves as Christian. Nearly 52% of the adult population are Protestants. Following Protestantism, Catholicism is the second largest religious affiliation, comprising 15% of the population. Amish Mennonite communities are found in St. Mary's, Garrett, and Cecil counties. Judaism is the largest non-Christian religion in Maryland, with 241,000 adherents, or 4% of the total population. Jews are numerous throughout Montgomery County and in Pikesville and Owings Mills northwest of Baltimore. An estimated 81,500 Jewish Americans live in Montgomery County, constituting approximately 10% of the total population. The Seventh-day Adventist Church's World Headquarters and Ahmadiyya Muslims National Headquarters are located in Silver Spring, just outside the District of Columbia. Per the Public Religion Research Institute in 2020, 61% of Maryland's population identified with Christianity. Protestantism and Roman Catholicism continued to dominate the Christian landscape and the Jewish community remained at 3% of the total religious population. Of the unaffiliated, the PRRI study determined their increase to 28% of the population. Economy The Bureau of Economic Analysis estimates that Maryland's gross state product in 2016 was $382.4 billion. However, Maryland has been using Genuine Progress Indicator an indicator of well-being, to guide the state's development, rather than relying only on growth indicators like GDP. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, Maryland households are currently the wealthiest in the country, with a 2013 median household income of $72,483, which puts it ahead of New Jersey and Connecticut, which are second and third respectively. Two of Maryland's counties, Howard and Montgomery, are the second and eleventh wealthiest counties in the nation respectively. Maryland has the most millionaires per capita in 2013, with a ratio of 7.7%. Also, the state's poverty rate of 7.8% is the lowest in the country. Per capita personal income in 2006 was $43,500 fifth in the nation. As of March 2022, the state's unemployment rate was 4.6 percent. Maryland's economy benefits from the state's proximity to the federal government in Washington, D.C., with an emphasis on technical and administrative tasks for the defense-slash-aerospace industry and bioresearch laboratories, as well as staffing of satellite government headquarters in the suburban or exurban Baltimore-slash-Washington area. F.T. Meade serves as the headquarters of the Defense Information Systems Agency, United States Cyber Command, and the National Security Agency slash Central Security Service. In addition, a number of educational and medical research institutions are located in the state. In fact, the various components of the Johns Hopkins University and its medical research facilities are now the largest single employer in the Baltimore area. Altogether, white-collar technical and administrative workers comprise 25% of Maryland's labor force, attributable in part to nearby Maryland being a part of the Washington metro area where the federal government office employment is relatively high. Manufacturing, while large in dollar value, 
is highly diversified with no subsector contributing over 20% of the total. Typical forms of manufacturing include electronics, computer equipment, and chemicals. The once mighty primary metals subsector, which once included what was then the largest steel factory in the world at Sparrows Point, still exists, but is pressed with foreign competition, bankruptcies, and mergers. During World War II the Glen Martin Company airplane factory employed some 40,000 people. Mining other than construction materials is virtually limited to coal, which is located in the mountainous western part of the state. The brownstone quarries in the east, which gave Baltimore and Washington much of their characteristic architecture in the mid-19th century, were once a predominant natural resource. Historically, there used to be small gold mining operations in Maryland, some near Washington, but these no longer exist. Port of Baltimore One major service activity is transportation, centered on the Port of Baltimore and its related rail and trucking access. The port ranked 17th in the U.S. by tonnage in 2008. Although the port handles a wide variety of products, the most typical imports are raw materials and bulk commodities, such as iron ore, petroleum, sugar, and fertilizers, often distributed to the relatively close manufacturing centers of the inland Midwest via good overland transportation. The port also receives several brands of imported motor vehicles and is the number one auto port in the U.S. Baltimore City is among the top 15 largest ports in the nation and was one of six major U.S. ports that were part of the February 2006 controversy over the Dubai Ports World Deal. The state as a whole is heavily industrialized, with a booming economy and influential technology centers. Its computer industries are some of the most sophisticated in the United States, and the federal government has invested heavily in the area. Maryland is home to several large military bases and scores of high-level government jobs. The Chesapeake and Delaware Canal is a 14 miles canal on the eastern shore that connects the waters of the Delaware River with those of the Chesapeake Bay, and in particular with the Port of Baltimore, carrying 40% of the port's ship traffic. Fishing Maryland has a large food production sector. A large component of this is commercial fishing, centered in the Chesapeake Bay, but also including activity off the short Atlantic seacoast. The largest catches by species are the blue crab, oysters, striped bass, and menhaden. The bay also has overwintering waterfowl in its wildlife refuges. The waterfowl support a tourism sector of sportsmen. Agriculture Maryland has large areas of fertile agricultural land in its coastal and Piedmont zones, though this land use is being encroached upon by urbanization. Agriculture is oriented to dairy farming for nearby large city milk sheds, plus specialty perishable horticulture crops, such as cucumbers, watermelons, sweet corn, tomatoes, muskmelons, squash, and peas. The southern counties of the western shoreline of Chesapeake Bay are warm enough to support a tobacco cash crop zone, which has existed since early colonial times, but declined greatly after a state government buyout in the 1990s. There is also a large automated chicken farming sector in the state's southeastern part, Salisbury is home to Purdue Farms. Maryland's food processing plants are the most significant type of manufacturing by value in the state. Farming suffers from weeds as anywhere else, including an unusual multiply-resistant ragweed found by Rausanilo's ETAL, 2012 with both ALS and PPO resistances and which by 2016 had developed a third, EPSP resistance. This ragweed population is a drag on soybean cultivation and, as of May 7, 2022, is the worst multi-resistant weed problem in the state. Biotechnology Maryland is a major center for life sciences research and development. With more than 400 biotechnology companies located there, 
Maryland is the fourth largest nexus in this field in the United States. Institutions and government agencies with an interest in research and development located in Maryland include the Johns Hopkins University, the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, more than one campus of the University System of Maryland, Goddard Space Flight Center, the United States Census Bureau, the National Institutes of Health, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, the National Institute of Mental Health, the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, the Federal Food and Drug Administration, the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, the Celera Genomics Company, the J. Craig Venter Institute, and AstraZeneca. Maryland is home to defense contractor Emergent Biosolutions which manufactures and provides an anthrax vaccine to U.S. government military personnel. Tourism Tourism is popular in Maryland. Many tourists visit Baltimore, the beaches of the Eastern Shore, and the nature of Western Maryland. Attractions in Baltimore include the Harbor Place, the Baltimore Aquarium, Fort McHenry, as well as the Camden Yards Baseball Stadium. Ocean City on the Atlantic coast has been a popular beach destination in summer, particularly since the Chesapeake Bay Bridge was built in 1952, connecting the eastern shore to the more populated Maryland cities. The state capital of Annapolis offers sites such as the state capitol building, the historic district, and the waterfront. Maryland also has several sites of interest to military history, given Maryland's role in the American Civil War and in the War of 1812. Other attractions include the historic and picturesque towns along the Chesapeake Bay, such as St. Mary's, Maryland's first colonial settlement and original capital. Healthcare As of 2017, the top two health insurers including all types of insurance were Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield with 47% market share followed by United Health Group at 15%. Maryland has experimented with health care payment reforms, notably beginning in the 1970s with an all-payer rate-setting program regulated by the Health Services Cost Review Commission. In 2014, it switched to a global budget revenue system whereby hospitals receive a capitated payment to care for their population. Transportation The Maryland Department of Transportation oversees most transportation in the state through its various administration-level agencies. The independent Maryland Transportation Authority maintains and operates the state's eight toll facilities. Roads Maryland's interstate highways include 110 miles of Interstate 95 which enters the northeast portion of the state, travels through Baltimore, and becomes part of the eastern section of the Capitol Beltway to the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. I-68 travels 81 miles, connecting the western portions of the state to I-70 at the small town of Hancock. I-70 enters from Pennsylvania north of Hancock and continues east for 93 miles to Baltimore, connecting Hagerstown and Frederick along the way. I-83 has 34 miles in Maryland and connects Baltimore to southern central Pennsylvania. Maryland also has an 11-mile portion of I-81 that travels through the state near Hagerstown. I-97, fully contained within Anne Arundel County and the shortest one- or two-digit interstate highway in the contiguous U.S., connects the Baltimore area to the Annapolis area. There are also several auxiliary interstate highways in Maryland. Among them are two beltways encircling the major cities of the region, I-695, the McKeldin Beltway, which encircles Baltimore, and a portion of I-495, the Capitol Beltway, which encircles Washington, D.C. I-270, which connects the Frederick area with Northern Virginia and the District of Columbia through major suburbs to the northwest of Washington, is a major commuter route and is as wide as 14 lanes at points. I-895, also known as the Harbor Tunnel Thruway, provides an alternate route to I-95 across the Baltimore Harbor. Both I-270 and the Capitol Beltway were extremely congested, however, 
the inter-county connector has alleviated some congestion over time. Construction of the ICC was a major part of the campaign platform of former Governor Robert Ehrlich, who was in office from 2003 until 2007, and of Governor Martin O'Malley, who succeeded him. I-595, which is an unsigned highway concurrent with US 50-US 301, is the longest unsigned interstate in the country and connects Prince George's County and Washington, D.C. with Annapolis and the Eastern Shore via the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Maryland also has a state highway system that contains routes numbered from 2 through 999, however most of the higher numbered routes are either unsigned or are relatively short. Major state highways include routes 2, 4, 5, 32, 45, 97, 100, 210, 235, 295, 355, 404, and 650. Airports Maryland's largest airport is Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, more commonly referred to as BWI. The airport is named for the Baltimore-born Thurgood Marshall, the first African-American Supreme Court Justice. The only other airports with commercial service are at Hagerstown and Salisbury. The Maryland suburbs of Washington, D.C. are also served by the other two airports in the region, Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport and Dulles International Airport, both in Northern Virginia. The College Park Airport is the nation's oldest founded in 1909, and is still used. Wilbur Wright trained military aviators at this location. Rail Amtrak trains, including the high-speed Acela Express serve Baltimore's Penn Station, BWI Airport, New Carrollton, and Aberdeen along the Washington, D.C. to Boston Northeast Corridor. In addition, train service is provided to Rockville and Cumberland by Amtrak's Washington, D.C., to Chicago Capital Limited. The WMATA's Metrorail Rapid Transit and METROBUS local bus systems provide service in Montgomery and Prince George's counties and connect them to Washington, D.C., with the express METROBUS Route B30 serving BWI Airport. The Maryland Transit Administration a state agency part of the Maryland Department of Transportation also provides transit services within the state. Headquartered in Baltimore, MTA's transit services are largely focused on central Maryland, as well as some portions of the Eastern Shore and Southern MD Baltimore's light rail link and metro subway link systems serve its densely populated inner city and the surrounding suburbs. The MTA also serves the city and its suburbs with its local bus service. The MTA's commuter bus system provides express coach service on longer routes connecting Washington, D.C., and Baltimore to parts of Central and Southern MD as well as the Eastern Shore. The commuter rail service, known as MARC, operates three lines which all terminate at Washington Union Station and provide service to Baltimore's Penn and Camden stations, Perryville, Frederick, and Martinsburg, WV. In addition, many suburban counties operate local bus systems which connect to and complement the larger MTA and WMATA-slash-metro services. The MTA will also administer the Purple Line, an under-construction light rail line that will connect the Maryland branches of the red, green-slash-yellow, and orange lines of the Washington Metro, as well as offer transfers to all three lines of the Mark Commuter Rail System. Freight rail transport is handled principally by two Class I railroads, as well as several smaller regional and local carriers. CSX Transportation has more extensive trackage throughout the state, with 560 miles, followed by Norfolk Southern Railway. Major rail yards are located in Baltimore and Cumberland, with an intermodal terminal in Baltimore. Law and Government The Government of Maryland is conducted according to the state constitution. The Government of Maryland, like the other 49 state governments, has exclusive authority over matters that lie entirely within the state's borders, except as limited by the Constitution of the United States. 
Power in Maryland is divided among three branches of government, executive, legislative, and judicial. The Maryland General Assembly is composed of the Maryland House of Delegates and the Maryland Senate. Maryland's governor is unique in the United States as the office is vested with significant authority in budgeting. The legislature may not increase the governor's proposed budget expenditures. Unlike many other states, significant autonomy is granted to many of Maryland's counties. Most of the business of government is conducted in Annapolis, the state capital however some cabinet departments and state officials have their offices in Baltimore. Elections for governor and most statewide offices, as well as most county elections, are held in midterm election years. The judicial branch of state government consists of one United District Court of Maryland that sits in every county in Baltimore City, as well as 24 circuit courts sitting in each county in Baltimore City, the latter being courts of general jurisdiction for all civil disputes over $30,000 all equitable jurisdiction and major criminal proceedings. The Intermediate Appellate Court is known as the Court of Special Appeals and the State Supreme Court is the Court of Appeals. The appearance of the judges of the Maryland Court of Appeals is unique, Maryland is the only state whose judges wear red robes. Taxation Maryland imposes five income tax brackets, ranging from 2 to 6.25% of personal income. The city of Baltimore and Maryland's 23 counties levy local piggyback income taxes at rates between 1.25 and 3.2 percent of Maryland taxable income. Local officials set the rates and the revenue is returned to the local governments quarterly. The top income tax bracket of 9.45 percent is the fifth highest combined state and local income tax rates in the country, behind New York City's 11.35 percent. California's 10.3%, Rhode Island's 9.9%, and Vermont's 9.5%. Maryland's state sales tax is 6%. All real property in Maryland is subject to the property tax. Generally, properties that are owned and used by religious, charitable, or educational organizations or property owned by the federal, state, or local governments are exempt. Property tax rates vary widely. No restrictions or limitations on property taxes are imposed by the state, meaning cities and counties can set tax rates at the level they deem necessary to fund governmental services. Elections Since before the Civil War, Maryland's elections have been largely controlled by the Democrats, which account for 54.9% of all registered voters as of May 2017. State elections are dominated by Baltimore and the populous suburban counties bordering Washington, D.C., and Baltimore, Montgomery, Prince George's, Anne Arundel, and Baltimore counties. As of July 2017, 66% of the state's population resides in these six jurisdictions, most of which contain large, traditionally Democratic voting blocs, African Americans in Baltimore City and Prince George's, federal employees in Prince George's, Anne Arundel, and Montgomery, and postgraduates in Montgomery. The remainder of the state, particularly Western Maryland and the Eastern Shore, is more supportive of Republicans. One of Maryland's best-known political figures is a Republican former Governor Spiro Agnew, who pled no contest to tax evasion and resigned in 1973. In 1980, Maryland was one of six states to vote for Jimmy Carter. In 1992, Bill Clinton fared better in Maryland than any other state, except his home state of Arkansas. In 1996, Maryland was Clinton's sixth best, in 2000, Maryland ranked fourth for Gore, and in 2004, John Kerry showed his fifth best performance in Maryland. In 2008, Barack Obama won the state's 10 electoral votes with 61.9% of the vote, to John McCain's 36.5%. In 2002, former Governor Robert Ehrlich was the first Republican to be elected to that office in four decades, and after one term, 
he lost his seat to Baltimore Mayor and Democrat Martin O'Malley. Ehrlich ran again for governor in 2010, losing again to O'Malley. The 2006 election brought no change in the pattern of Democratic dominance. After Democratic Senator Paul Sarbanes announced that he was retiring, Democratic Congressman Benjamin Cardin defeated Republican Lt. Gov. Michael S. Steele, with 55 percent of the vote, against Steele's 44 percent. While Republicans usually win more counties, by piling up large margins in the West and East, they are also usually swamped by the more densely populated and heavily Democratic Baltimore-Washington axis. In 2008, for instance, McCain won 17 counties to Obama's six, Obama also carried Baltimore City. While McCain won most of the western and eastern counties by margins of two to one or more, he was almost completely shut out in the larger counties surrounding Baltimore and Washington, every large county, except Anne Arundel, went for Obama. From 2007 to 2011, U.S. Congressman Steny Hoyer, a Democrat, was elected as majority leader for the 110th Congress and 111th Congress of the House of Representatives, serving in that post again starting in 2019. In addition, Hoyer served as House Minority Whip from 2003 to 2006 and 2012 to 2018. His district covers parts of Anne Arundel and Prince George's counties, in addition to all of Charles, Calvert and St. Mary's counties in Southern Maryland. In 2010, Republicans won control of most counties. The Democratic Party remained in control of eight county governments including that of Baltimore. In 2014, Larry Hogan, a moderate Republican, was elected governor of Maryland. Hogan is the second Republican to become the governor of Maryland since Spiro Agnew, who resigned in 1969 to become vice president. In 2018, Hogan was re-elected to a second term of office. Per the Constitution of Maryland, Hogan is term limited and may not run for a third consecutive term in the 2022 Maryland gubernatorial election. In a 2020 study, Maryland was ranked by the Election Law Journal as the fifth easiest state for citizens to vote in. LGBT Rights and Community The first person known to describe himself as a drag queen was William Dorsey Swan, born enslaved in Hancock, Maryland. Swan was the first American on record who pursued legal and political action to defend the LGBTQ community's right to assemble. In February 2010, Attorney General Doug Gansler issued an opinion stating that Maryland law should honor same sex marriages from out of state. At the time, the state Supreme Court wrote a decision upholding marriage discrimination. On March 1, 2012, Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley signed the Freedom to Marry bill into law after it passed in the state legislature. Opponents of same-sex marriage began collecting signatures to overturn the law. The law faced a referendum, as Question 6, in the November 2012 election. A large majority of Maryland voters said they would vote to uphold the Freedom to Marry, with 37% saying they would vote against. This is consistent with a January 2011 Gonzales Research and Marketing Strategies poll showing 51% support for marriage in the state. Voters voted 52% to 48% for Question 6 on November 6, 2012. Same-sex couples began marrying in Maryland on January 1, 2013. In May 2012, Maryland's Court of Appeals ruled that the state will recognize marriages of same-sex couples who married out of state, no matter the outcome of the November election. Media A well-known newspaper is the Baltimore Sunday. Many residents of the Washington metropolitan area receive the Washington Post. The most populous areas are served by either Baltimore or Washington, D.C. broadcast stations. The eastern shore is served primarily by broadcast media based around the Delmarva Peninsula, the northeastern section receives both Baltimore and Philadelphia stations. 
Garrett County, which is mountainous, is served by stations from Pittsburgh, and requires cable or satellite for reception. Maryland is served by statewide PBS member station Maryland Public Television. Education Primary and Secondary Education Education Week ranked Maryland number one in its nationwide 2009-2013 Quality Counts reports. The College Board's ninth annual AP report to the nation also ranked Maryland first. Primary and secondary education in Maryland is overseen by the Maryland State Department of Education, which is headquartered in Baltimore. The highest educational official in the state is the State Superintendent of Schools, who is appointed by the State Board of Education to a four-year term of office. The Maryland General Assembly has given the Superintendent and State Board autonomy to make educationally related decisions limiting its influence on the day-to-day -day functions of public education. Each county and county equivalent in Maryland has a local board of education charged with running the public schools in that particular jurisdiction. The budget for education was $5.5 billion in 2009, representing about 40% of the state's general fund. Data from the 2017 census shows that, among large school districts, Four Maryland districts are in the top six for per-pupil annual spending, exceeded only by the Boston and New York City districts. Maryland has a broad range of private primary and secondary schools. Many of these are affiliated with various religious sects, including parochial schools of the Catholic Church, Quaker schools, Seventh-day Adventist schools, and Jewish schools. In 2003, Maryland law was changed to allow for the creation of publicly funded charter schools, although the charter schools must be approved by their local board of education and are not exempt from state laws on education, including collective bargaining laws. In 2008, the state led the entire country in the percentage of students passing advanced placement examinations. 23.4% of students earned passing grades on the AP tests given in May 2008. This marks the first year that Maryland earned this honor. Three Maryland high schools were ranked among the top 100 in the country by U.S. News in 2009, based in large part on AP test scores. Colleges and Universities Maryland has several historic and renowned private colleges and universities the most prominent of which is Johns Hopkins University, founded in 1876 with a grant from Baltimore entrepreneur Johns Hopkins. The first public university in the state is the University of Maryland, Baltimore, which was founded in 1807 and contains the University of Maryland's only public academic health, human services, and one of two law centers. Seven professional and graduate schools train the majority of the state's physicians, nurses, dentists, lawyers, social workers, and pharmacists. The flagship university and largest undergraduate institution in Maryland is the University of Maryland, College Park which was founded as the Maryland Agricultural College in 1856 and became a public land-grant college in 1864. Towson University, founded in 1866, is the state's second largest university. In 1974, Maryland, along with seven other states, mainly in the South, submitted plans to desegregate its state universities. Maryland's plans were approved by the U.S. Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. Baltimore is home to the University of Maryland. Baltimore County and the Maryland Institute College of Art. The majority of public universities in the state are affiliated with the University System of Maryland. Two state-funded institutions, Morgan State University and St. Mary's College of Maryland, as well as two federally funded institutions, the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences and the United States Naval Academy are not affiliated with the University System of Maryland. 
The University of Maryland Global Campus is the largest public university in Maryland and one of the largest distance learning institutions in the world. St. John's College in Annapolis and Washington College in Chestertone, both private institutions, are the oldest colleges in the state and among the oldest in the country. Other private institutions include Mount St. Mary's University, McDaniel College, Hood College, Stevenson University, Loyola University Maryland, and Goucher College, among others. Public Libraries Maryland's 24 public library systems deliver public education for everyone in the state of Maryland through a curriculum that comprises three pillars, self-directed education, research assistance and instruction, and instructive and enlightening experiences. Maryland's library systems include, in part, Baltimore County Public Library System, Cecil County Public Library, Enoch Pratt Free Library, Frederick County Public Library, Harford County Public Library, Howard County Public Library, Montgomery County Public Libraries, Prince George's County Memorial Library System. St. Mary's County Public Library Many of the library systems have established formalized partnerships with other educational institutions in their counties and regions. Sports With two major metropolitan areas, Maryland has a number of major and minor professional sports franchises. Two National Football League teams play in Maryland, the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore and the Washington Commanders in Landover. The Baltimore Colts represented the NFL in Baltimore from 1953 to 1983 before moving to Indianapolis. The Baltimore Orioles are the state's major league baseball franchise. The National Hockey League's Washington Capitals and the National Basketball Association's Washington Wizards formerly played in Maryland, until the construction of an arena in Washington, D.C. in 1997. University of Maryland's team is the Maryland Terrapins. Maryland enjoys considerable historical repute for the talented sports players of its past, including Cal Ripken Jr. and Babe Ruth. In 2012, the Baltimore Sun published a list of Maryland's top 10 athletes in the state's history. The list includes Babe Ruth, Cal Ripken Jr., Johnny Unitas, Brooks Robinson, Frank Robinson, Ray Lewis, Michael Phelps, Jimmy Fox, Jim Parker, and Wes Unseld. Other professional sports franchises in the state include three affiliated minor league baseball teams, one independent league baseball team, the Baltimore Blast indoor soccer team, two indoor football teams, three low level outdoor soccer teams, and the Chesapeake Bayhawks of Major League Lacrosse. Maryland is also home to one of the three races in horse racing's annual Triple Crown, the Preakness Stakes, which is run every spring at Pimlico Race Course in Baltimore. The Baltimore Stallions were a Canadian football team in the CFL that played the 1994-95 season. The Congressional Country Club has hosted three golf tournaments for the U.S. Open and a PGA Championship. The official state sport of Maryland since 1962, is Justing, the official team sport since 2004 is lacrosse. The National Lacrosse Hall of Fame is located on the Johns Hopkins University campus in Baltimore. In 2008, intending to promote physical fitness for all ages, walking became the official state exercise. Maryland is the first state with an official state exercise. Friendship Partners Maryland has relationships with many provinces, states, and other entities worldwide. Bong and Maryland counties, in Liberia. Jalisco, Mexico. Cross River and Ondo states, Nigeria. KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Victoria, Australia. See also. Index of Maryland-related articles. Outline of Maryland.